In today's bonus clips, you guys are witnessing me roasting Iggy with broccoli. Now I know it's a pretty common insult for Iggy that he has broccoli hair, that's obvious, and also palm tree hair. Um, I need a third thing. I'm not really sure because I want to put a third thing because I'm using this template. If you guys haven't seen the video, I'm using this audio. And then after that, it's going to show broccoli because it's going to start laughing because it looks like broccoli. So I'm going to save this image. I'm also going to search up palm tree, palm trees, plants. Cool. All right. So let me find one. I might just use the first one. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm probably just going to use that first one. It looks pretty good. All right. And what's a third thing that his hair looks like? I'm going to look around the room and I'm going to discover something that looks like Iggy's hair. I don't have anything. Let me search up the Plants vs. Zombies character. Don't remember what that character's called. Uh, it's this one. What is it called? I don't even know. I'm just gonna use this. It kinda looks like it. Alright. Back to Kind Master. Now we're going to add media. Photos. And then we're gonna add these images. Now let me just click this. <laughs> Done. I did it. There's my video. Now if we click on it, there it is. And now if I uh, turn this, flip it, and there we go. It's done. Dogs. There's dogs barking. I think there's another dog. I think there's dogs barking at each other. I'm not sure. I can't really tell because I swear I hear another dog, but it sounds too far away, so I'm not really sure. Um... Very cool. Um, anyways, I have the storyline for Bowser Jr.'s ultimate tag figured out. So they're going to be playing tag. Then Bowser is going to, I think he's going to delete System 32. Because <laughs> I know a lot of people that do that. And I think it's kind of stupid. Because it gets rid of your stuff, okay? If anyone tells you to delete System 32, don't do that. That's dumb. He's going to do that. And Bowser's going to be like, oh no, I have to fix my PC. He's going to go ask Junior because Junior would know things about that. And also Iggy because he just assumes Iggy's a nerd. Because Iggy's got cool glasses. However, they're not home. And Bowser doesn't know where they are. Because of course they went outside without permission. So he files a missing person. But the dog's looking at me now. What? What's up? Hi. Hello. If you guys remember in Bowser Jr. Snow Day 2, when there was a dog barking in the background. Oh my god. Yeah, I agree, dog. Iggy is pretty crazy. That's that dog. He goes to Junior and Iggy, realizes they're not there, and so he files a missing person report. Or, well, he does that. And then he asks Mario and Luigi where they went. So they go searching, and then Junior and Iggy think that they're part of Tag, so they try and hide from them. And, yeah. So, that's basically the storyline. Haven't figured out the ending, I just know that that's how it's gonna go, and yeah, um, the dog is barking at something else now, there must be another dog. What's up? Okay, I'm gonna stop focusing on the dogs, the dog's kinda crazy. I don't want it to bark at me, because I wanna film this video, but I think it's gonna be loud in the background. Get my phone, get my phone! It fell out of my pocket! Yes! Still perfectly okay. Wow, okay. Um, oh my god. It doesn't even seem like it's gonna rain, but the clouds are kind of loud. Huh. Okay. Well, what's going on on my phone? People are liking my Instagram post. Uh, Chilled Cow posted a video. Call Me Carson is live. Um, I'll watch Call Me Carson live later. There's a lawnmower in the background. I think that's what that is. And the clouds are being crazy. Well, good news. This is the part of the video where I go back inside anyway. So I'm gonna hope that it doesn't rain, but since the inside scenes might take like five or ten minutes, I'm going to see if it'll rain during that time. And if it doesn't rain, then it's probably never going to rain. But in the meantime, real mushroom. Nice. Very cool. We don't get that many of those often. We usually get those in our front yard. I never noticed this one in the backyard. Or maybe it just grew here. I don't know. I just noticed it. Very cool. Um, I'm going to go inside and real quick, I'm going to check Instagram. And we're going to see how many people liked our post. Right now, at least last time I refreshed it like 30 minutes ago, it was at 4 likes. 
now it is at 35. Cool. I'm sorry, Vipsy, but this is what I have to do. I have to edit your tweet for my video. Also, in continuation to earlier, I don't actually know if it's raining. It's still making like thunder sounds outside, but my dad is outside right now fixing the mailbox. So I'm gonna assume that it's not raining that bad right now. So anyways, I have to edit this tweet. And in order to edit this tweet, I go and inspect element. Now I know what you're thinking. This looks like a bunch of jumble of code. And it is. But, you know, if you go in there and you dig deep enough, I can go into the text and I can double click it and I can edit it. And I can make it say, and I can press enter. And it'll also say, so I'm gonna edit it. And I'm gonna make it say, guys. And now it says, guys. And now I'm gonna edit it. Okay, and uh, done. There we go. I did it. Guys, I just found out the craziest life hack. If you delete System32 on your computer, you will never have to pay your taxes ever again. Cool. I'm sorry, Christian, that I had to do this to you. I'm gonna FaceTime you right now. Hey, Christian. You won. Can I use your tweet in my YouTube video? Yeah. Okay. Can I make it say this? Yeah. Okay. Can I put this recording in the video, too? Because I'm filming you right now. Oh! 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 <laughs> He's fine with it. Remember, guys, if you ever do something in a video, you gotta ask them. You gotta get the permission, okay? I got my own permission. I can use him in a tweet. And, uh, yeah, let's check my Twitter notifications. Why did I tweet this? Guys, you won't believe it, but, uh, what day is it? I think it's July 9th. Yeah, it's July 9th. And there's fireworks going on. It's literally July 9th. And they're doing fireworks. And I can't film with that, right? Now, obviously, in between, I'll do it, but that is annoying. Now the dog's going off. There's people in the back. Dude, how do I make this video? This is, this is awful. <laughs> I can't do this, but, oh my god, I have to figure this out. <laughs> that is really annoying. Now what, what? What's your emergency? Ah, what is this? Cop. Oh, that makes a funny sound. Hey, I can roll it. I'm gonna roll it. I can roll this thing. Let's roll it. I love it. And I think this is a firework. Very cool. This area smells really bad, though. Probably because of that firework. Speaking of fireworks, in case you guys haven't noticed, those fireworks are annoying. Like, they just keep happening. They're not happening anymore. I assume they stopped. But jeez, it was annoying when I was trying to record. Plane! What's up? You're kind of loud. But I hope you have a nice flight. Uh, yeah. I almost did. Oh, my God. Fly. Oh my god, guys, a fly flew in my face. The Yoshi is on the floor! Very cool! Also, I probably got like 10 bug bites just from being outside. Oh god. I'm going to bag some of my things up. Well, I do need to do like two more scenes out here where Iggy just tags Junior again after finding him. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to bag everything up. And then I'm gonna go inside, and I'm gonna finish the video. All right, I'm gonna go inside. Also, there's a mushroom. What? All right, so before I end off this bonus clip, I wanna show you guys real quick how I make my thumbnail. So first of all, I'm gonna go through this. So here is the text layer. Uh, these are actually two different things. The ultimate tag is its own text because it's a different type of font. You see, this is the normal font I use. And then this is kind of a more like squished together version. If you guys wanna see an example of the squished together version on this one, let me just select that. Let me go over here. And it's actually called black semi-condensed, but if I do black condensed, there you go, there's black condensed. So you might have seen me use it a few times. So yeah, I usually use semi-condensed because it looks like that. However, I needed to fit this text, so I made it condensed. And yeah, so there's Iggy right here. There is Luigi right here. And these are all, you know, cropped and stuff. Cropped pretty well, even though you can't really see them. And yeah, these are the lasers on his eyes. Why I have them there, I don't know. I just thought it looked kind of cool. And he has a clock and stuff, and it's pretty cool. And then Bowser's all like, yeah. 
And so I'm gonna show you guys real quick how I make a thumbnail. So the first thing I'll do when making a thumbnail is of course take the character pictures. So you can see these are the pictures for the characters in the ultimate tag thumbnail. So for example, we're gonna take Junior, we're gonna drag him in there and we're gonna crop him out. We're gonna show you how we do this. Okay, so I do fit on screen. It basically full sizes it, so there you go. Then I grab the magnetic lasso tool. It's not focusing, magnetic lasso tool. I grab that, right? And then I'll pick a random point. Usually with Junior, it's around his hair like here. And then I will do this. Um, it doesn't matter if it's like kind of messy at first because I fix it later. It's looking pretty good right now, but you know, somewhere around here, it's gonna start looking a little weird. So basically it's like auto selecting the edges and making points along the way. So then that way, you know, once I'm done, it'll crop it out itself instead of me. I know some people use the eraser tool. I used to do that at one point, but ever since I switched to Photoshop, I found this method a lot easier. So I've been using this method. And once I have it all cropped out, it should look pretty cool. So I'm gonna fast forward to that. All right, I'm coming up on finishing this and I am done. I have the whole thing selected. Now I'm going to copy it and then I'm gonna paste it. Now you probably think there's nothing different, you just erase the thing. Well, if I go over here, I could delete the background and there we go, it's like that. However, it's not finished yet from there, obviously. So first thing I do is I'll take the paintbrush, which since I never really use the paintbrush, I'll make it like a really huge size like this and then I'll make it black and then I'll put it behind there. That way it's easier to see the edges. So you can see that the edges are a little bit weird looking, you know, they're kind of jagged in a way. So what I'll do is I will take the magic wand tool and I will select the junior layer and I'll go to select modify smooth. And this makes the, this makes the edges more smooth, right? So my radius will be 45, press delete. And you can see it's already looking a bit smoother. So I'll do that like three times. So I'll do this the second time, select it again, do smoothening again, and then I'd say it looks pretty good. I've done my job. It's pretty smooth now and it looks pretty good. And there are some rare occasions where there's this, where I'll just, okay, I didn't mean to do that. I have to turn the tolerance down, 15 maybe. And then I'll select this and there we go. It's perfect. So I erased that part. And now we have this. Now we have this photo of Junior. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it look a lot more colorful. So I'm going to go to Vibrance and I'm going to turn the Vibrance all the way up. That's what I always do. I always turn the Vibrance all the way up. And sometimes I'll turn the saturation up just a little bit just for a kick, you know, because if I move this over, you guys can see it looks like this right now. But if I turn off the saturation, it looks a lot more colorful. So yeah, I'll do that. And... There we go, there's Junior. I'll do a video in depth in the future on how I make my thumbnails, how I do the rest of it, like the tags and stuff, what font I use, etc. I'll do, I'll do more of that. So if you guys wanna see that, post in the comments if you wanna see a thumbnail tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. Anyways, yeah, thanks for watching the bonus clips. I'll see you guys some other time. Hope you enjoyed the video and bye. <laughs>